Something else that, that you and Donald Trump have in common, in addition uh, to making uh, the issue of illegal immigration a real focus, is that you've both trafficked in this rather preposterous notion that President Obama was not born in the United States and that he may have forged his birth certificate uh, that he released. Why would you risk your credibility on issues that you care about, like illegal immigration, like law enforcement, you know, by getting involved in you this know, nonsense? I'm, for, what, what do you mean risk? I'm the chief law enforcement officer elected by the people. I have a right to investigate and speak out. So you, I'm not talking about where he came from. I don't care where he came from. We're work, working on a fraudulent, forged government document. That's what we are doing. You're maintaining that the and birth certificate that the President of the United States revealed and released to the public, you're, you're maintaining that that is fraudulent? That's right. Is there anyone, any I'm credible law enforcement person outside of you and your organization, your, and your, your contractors, who has any agreement with you on this? No, they haven't looked at it. What, are you kidding? I'm probably the only law enforcement official that has looked into it. Nobody looks into it. They shy away from it. Because it's the president was born in Hawaii. To get someone. I, I, I think don't care the reason where he was born. I'm talking about a fraudulent government document, a birth certificate. That's all I'm concerned with. And that seems and to be a violation of the law. And you say that because there are glitches in some of the printing, is that right? I'm not going to get into all the technical uh, details. I have a Smith Corona typewriter. I don't have a computer, but I have people that look into it. And uh, I've been around a long time. I'm not stupid enough uh, to even talk to you about it if I didn't think uh, there was a lot of smoke and fire there.